Hi, welcome to No Fear Food. Today we're going to be making a simple Italian dinner where the dinner and all of its ingredients are free of the eight most common allergens. We're going to be making chicken cutlets and then mac and no cheese and peas. Okay, normally, as an Italian, the way that I would make chicken cutlets would be to take the cutlets, dip it in egg, then I would dip it in seasoned breadcrumbs, which I would have also added cheese to, and then I would either bake or saute the cutlets. Um, but today, we're going to not be using cheese or egg. Um, today, I'm going to be using chicken tenderloins, but any kind of chicken cutlet will do. For the breadcrumbs, they're, we're using Jillian's breadcrumbs, and they already are. They have one that's uh, already Italian breadcrumbs. So this is already seasoned with basil and parsley um, and oregano. But I'm going to be adding a little bit more of each of those. So about a teaspoon more to the one cup of breadcrumbs I'm going to be using. Uh, I'm also going to be making about four pounds of the chicken cutlets with this. And I will add more breadcrumbs if it looks like I need more breadcrumbs, and then I'll add the extra seasoning as well. To get that sort of you know, replacement for the cheese, I'm actually going to be using flax seeds. So I'll use about two teaspoons of this organic milled flax seed. Then, to replace the egg, we're going to actually be using the juice from, or the, the, the liquid, that comes from chickpeas, from a can of chickpeas, or in this case, a bag of chickpeas. Um, this, this brand is really nice, this Fig & Co. So what we're going to do is take each chicken uh, cutlet, we're going to dip it in the chickpea liquid, then we're going to dip it in the breadcrumb mixture, and then we're going to actually dip it into the oil, and then put it in the pan. So it already has oil, it's coated with oil, so we'll get that nice crispy texture. I preheated the oven to 400 degrees, and when I cook them, I'm going to be cooking them for about 20 minutes. All right, so here's, here's what I'm going to be doing. Just take the chicken cutlet, dip it in the chickpea, dumping, <laughs> dipping it into my breadcrumb mixture, and you'll see that the chickpeas are doing what the eggs would have done, which is letting the chicken cutlets grab the breadcrumbs. I've tried all sorts of things, to, um, like water or oil, and I've never had as much success as these breadcrumbs. As these, I'm sorry, as these, as the chickpea liquid. Okay, now, like I said, to get that extra crisp when I'm baking, I'm actually dipping it in. I put two tablespoons of oil in this bowl. And I'm dipping, I can add more oil if I need it. I'm going to dip it in just to get the, the, the cutlet coated with oil. And then I'm going to be laying them in my, in my baking dish as, uh, like this. And um, when, when I've got them all breaded up, I'm going to be uh, putting them in the oven. Okay, look how, look how great these look. Um, it really uh, got a lot of breadcrumbs in each of the uh, cutlets. Um, I did have to add a bunch more oil, um, but now in order to not waste what's left here, um, you don't have to do this, but I, I would just take some of this like nice oil and maybe coat some of the, chi uh, the cutlets that might be missing some of the breadcrumbs. Okay, so now you can discard any of the other uh, the breadcrumbs and the chickpea liquid that is left over. And I'm putting these in the oven. I've got my oven preheated to 400, and I'm going to watch them, but I'm going to cook them for about 20 minutes. Okay, so now while that's in the oven, we're going to make our mac and no cheese with peas. And here I have my water boiling for my mac and no cheese. I'm actually making two boxes. My family really likes it. The whole family likes these. Nobody notices that it's not real cheese. We're going to use the Daya um, Deluxe Cheesy Mac Alfredo style mix where, we, where we're going to add peas to the pasta while it's cooking and so that when we add the cheese sauce, everything will just be all mixed together. And then I'm just going to be following the rest of the directions on the box. I'm turning them over halfway through. So I know. And here's a finished product. We're going to plate these up and smells del they smell delicious and, um, and I just taste a little piece and they taste delicious too. Um, so this is our dinner and I hope you enjoy it and um, you, can, you can bread um, any kind of cutlets this way, eggplant um, if, you're, if you're vegan or you know, pork, any, any other uh, 
kind of um, thing that you can bread. You can use this way. And the mac and, the mac and no cheese is awesome as well.